Well, if he wasn't on the middleweight map before, he certainly is now. Brian Vera here after his scintillating victory over Sergey Zinzirik. Uh, Brian, you came out flying in the first round. Uh, you know, did you think that you were able to hurt him right off the bat? Yeah, I just knew that I was going to be physically a lot stronger than this guy. You know, like I said in the interview, and uh, it showed right away. You know, the first knockdown, well, I don't think it was a knockdown, but they called it. But then I caught him again and, and was able to drop him. But uh, he just surprised me, though, man, because he was able to come back and be tough. He was tough enough to stay in there. But uh, I knew eventually I'd probably be, be able to get him out of there. Well, I know fighters sometimes have a difficulty after the first round. If the guy's not staggering the second round, it, it's tough to deal with that mentally. Were, were you still sticking with the notion that you could hurt him after the first round? Do you think you could get to him again? I did, man. Cause I, went through, I went down to Houston, got in great shape. And uh, I was in shape to go 12 rounds hard. And... Uh, you know, I, I tend to pick it up towards the end anyway, so I, I felt like, you know, that's when it, it was time. I thought I was going to get him out early, but, you know, I, I picked it up, and you know, I was able to catch him. There was a time around the fourth round or so when he, when he started to get his jab going. There was always a lot of hype about Zinzerick's jab. Was yeah. it as good as people thought? It was pretty good, man. It was, it's just real sharp. It's real, it's real quick. It's not powerful or nothing. You know, a couple times I ran into it because I'm so aggressive. But uh, it's more of a sharp jab. Uh, it comes straight from his head, straight from his chin, but... It was nothing, nothing that uh, I've seen better jab. I thought Andy Lee had a better jab than that. So. There was uh, the eighth round, which I think a lot of people are going to remember. It's an early round of the year candidate already. Right. You said during the press conference a moment ago that maybe he hurt you a little bit when, when he pushed you off the ropes there and he had him in the corner. He just touched me with a decent body shot, you know, just a little slight. And he was able to back me up off him real quick just to kind of think about what I was doing. And I didn't want to throw my load, and then he started throwing him shots at the body. He was looking for that left hand to the body. So uh, I just played it, played it by ear, and then uh, what was it, the 10th round, I stopped him. So the next round, you know, I started picking it back up, and then I was able to get him out. I could see in his face and his eyes that he didn't want to do it anymore. It was almost an identical situation in the 10th round. Same corner, same situation. And it, was anything going through your mind at that point, like, I'm not going to let him out of the corner this time? Yeah, it was, man. It just uh, I had him in there, and he was, he was dipping, he was rolling, but I was catching him on the temple, catching him on the top of the head. Those, those shots knock you, could live him off. And then finally I was able to hit him with that right hand to the temple, and that was it, man. I sat him down. Once he sat down the way he did, I could tell it was, it was over. Now, leading up to this fight, we were talking about Gennady Golovkin maybe being an option for you. The, your manager was talking about that. Does that seem to be the path for you now, now that you've beaten Zinzurich? I think so. I think, uh, like Ronnie and uh, my manager Day said, he, he's used to uh, bullying people and, and taking over the fight, but he hadn't been in with a guy as strong as me that would get in there and fight him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not scared of anybody, so... Uh, it would definitely be a fun fight for the fans, and I think everybody would like to see it. Absolutely. We'd be looking forward to that one. Brian Vera, thank you very much.